Hi everyone. So we are working on this application and sometimes we need to create items before we start using the page. For example, in our application right now there are no to-do items. Wouldn't it be nice if we could execute an API call to the GraphQL endpoint and get an item so that we load the page and it's already available. So let's do this. One thing I like to do is create a random item, right, with a title that doesn't repeat so we can distinguish our item from this test from you know, items maybe left from other tests. So we can use the low dash random method that gives us a random number, set a title and print it so that we can see which item we're about to create in the console log. We need to execute a request to the GraphQL point. The easiest thing for us to execute the right request is to look how the application does it. I will go to the network tab and I will say new item and I'll click enter. The application makes two requests. The first one is actually adding the item. We can see that it's paused to localhost 3000. Okay, so let's start doing this. Sci request method post URL localhost 3000. We don't have GraphQL at hand. What else we see? We see request headers, operation name. We're not going to bother that. And we see the body of the request. The body has the following. We have operation name, which is add to do. Now we do have the mutation query, which is kind of long and complicated. I found we can copy this string or we can go to application code and look at what it does. In this case, the input box has this as a query. Okay, so we're going to do exactly the same. We're going to copy and paste. And the last one is the variables. And the network tab shows which is sending the title. Variables, title, right, which is this title. Let's see how it works. Okay, we can see that we're adding item 26280. We can see our command request. And if we click on that, you can see that we sent our body, operation name, everything. And the server responded with success. And it responded with body create to do with an ID. So it did successfully create a new item. Let's confirm it. Uh, let me just format this a little bit better. Once we make a request, we can say it's body data create to do uh, should have product ID. Okay, perfect. So we confirm that the server returns an ID of create item. We just created the item by making a post request ourselves from the test. And the item we create is 62507. But notice that somehow this item is already displayed. Our test right now has a race condition. When we visit the page, our application has to bootstrap itself, start the JavaScript, and then it makes GraphQL request to fetch all to do's. At the same time, our test doesn't know anything about this, so it's making its request. And now there is a race condition. Is the request coming to the server first while the application is starting and then fetching the to do's? Or will the application finish fetching the to do's and then our request will add one more? So right now it seems that our side request is winning. So it happens first, and that's why we see the item that we just added already displayed in the application, because it was fetched after side request finished. So we can solve this problem in many ways. The easiest is to make sure we wait a second. The most correct would be to wait for the network request that fetches the to-dos initially, but we're not going to do it. So notice in this case, if we wait one second, then the application fetches to do's. We're adding item 13796, which is now longer in the UI. So we have to confirm that if we reload the page, then this item is there. Perfect. So now we added an item 2266. And after reloading the page, we fetched it and it's available. 